I'm Chris Wills, Director of Training at RDI Technologies, and I'd like to welcome you to another installment of Tips and Tricks. Welcome back. Today I'm going to show you how to view multiple spectra using the navigator within motion amplification. Uh, so in order to do this, I actually need to begin in Motion Explorer, which is which is what I've done here. Now, what I've already done is I've created a measurement location here under my my asset. Uh, so that was very easy. I just highlighted the asset and I went and created a new measurement location, and and I gave it a name. And so here I called it corner of base and what it refers to is just a, an area of a recording that I'm drawing an ROI on to get vibration data. Uh, and so also what I've done if you look at my collection here is I've captured data on the same asset uh, each day for seven days. It's the same data uh, only the asset which is really just a bench grinder it was running at different speeds and so I have different frequencies and different amplitudes and uh, what I've done is, like I said, I've captured one three-second recording each day. And so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to actually launch the last recording, which was the, the, the Sunday recording here. And so now motion amplification opens up. And one thing I should point out here is that in order for this to work, you need to make sure that when you go to your options uh, in motion amplification that you're using the uh, historical data analysis mode, uh, the layout mode uh, here in motion amplification. And that, of course, enables the navigation tab or, or pane to be available here in motion amplification. And this is where you're going to actually do the navigation. All right. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to draw an ROI where I'd like to make a measurement and I've already drawn the the same ROI on uh, the previous six recordings so this is just the last one now and what I'm going to do here is and this is what I've done on all of the others is I'm choosing one of my spectra here and this happens to be the x-axis spectrum and I'm right clicking inside the spectrum and going to where it says attach spectrum to and then selecting the measurement location this refers to that measurement location that I created within uh, Motion Explorer and then this is the name of that measurement location so I just click here where it says corner of base and now it has stored that spectrum to that measurement location so uh, I'm going to go ahead and get rid of the data that I've got open on my screen here. And I'm also going to delete the ROI. I don't need it anymore. So here's the trick. Instead of navigating in Motion Explorer, I'm now going to go over here to the navigation pane here in Motion Amplification. And now when I expand the measurement location, I've got my seven spectra. Uh, of course, it's just that last one, the one that actually appears here on top. That's the one that I, that I just did. And now one of the neat features is I can view all of these in a single waterfall plot. Uh, so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to select one of these. And, and notice the, the spectrum opens up, and that's okay. I'm going to go back here, and I'm going to go ahead and select all of the spectra. So they all appear in this multiple spectrum display here. Now that I've got them all in this multiple spectrum display, uh, I'm going to go up here to the Show Waterfall Spectrum button. And now I've got a waterfall display of all of the spectra. Of course, one, each one of these was taken uh, on a different day. And so the list actually shows me which day is which. And when I'm viewing a waterfall spectrum, of course, I can right click in the spectrum and I can go to waterfall plot options and I can change the angle. I, I prefer the opposite angle to view these and I can also set either more or less overlap on this plot. 
This is Chris Wills reminding you to visit us online at www.rditechnologies.com for the latest motion amplification tips and tricks. Thank you.